This one probably controls the one downstairs that's not on. Is it satisfied? Melinda O'Hara awakened throughout the night because her house felt like an icebox. About to be the coldest week of the year, and I woke up to a temperature of 58 degrees in my bedroom. That's when she called our Mac. To see if the filter is clean. And that looks like a pretty clean filter. She knew the temps this week were going to be frigid to say the least. The windshield later this week could approach 40 degrees below zero. First, they need to check um, their air filters and make sure they are, you know, not built up with like dust and debris. Braden Knox says along with checking those filters, it's important to check your carbon monoxide units, checking that your thermostats are in order. If you can, have a furnace tune-up and run the furnace before the cold front arrives so you're not caught by surprise. Our mech is expecting to see more than double an increase in calls just this week. We've had, we've had tons of calls recently. You know, this week, you know, we're going to have tons of calls. You know, people, people's heaters are going to go out. Along with making sure the heat is working, with temperatures soaring to new lows this week, it's crucial that you do everything you can to prevent your pipes from freezing, including disconnecting the outside hose, which could cause serious damage. Turn your water on to a slow trickle. Make sure that you have movement throughout the home. Uh, think about it kind of like a cement truck. They're constantly circulating. Uh, once they stop, you know, it's going to harden. Check on your neighbors, check on your uh, friends, and make sure you're keeping your pets inside. And as these bitterly cold temperatures start to move in over the next couple of days, to take a look at these tips one more time, you can go to fox4kc.com. In Overland Park, I'm Malik Jackson, Fox 4, working for you.